Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title down below, it is going to be a Valentine's Day look. I try to create this simple cut crease for you guys. It's kind of simple. Kind of, sort of. Not really, but kind of, sort of. It'd be up to you if this is simple for you. I try to make it as simple as possible and explain it as best as I could. I don't mess with too many cut creases, so this is kind of like my first one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are not part of the Mayhem Goddesses, go ahead and bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> Click that subscribe button and become a Mayhem Goddess. And you know what you gotta do? If you wanna learn how to get this look, you gotta subscribe and you gotta keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is apply a eye primer all over the lid. I am using the LA Girl Pro in Nude, and I'm going to apply that all over to the lid, and then I am going to buff it out with one of these brushes here, just to make sure we have a nice, solid foundation. <laughs> So now I'm going to be taking a black gel liner and an angled brush and now I'm going to be sketching out exactly how I want the cut crease to go. Um, key to doing this, <laughs> I lost my train of thought, is looking straight ahead and you can see where my crease, my natural crease was to be. We're going to draw it right above there and take it out and take your time with this and I hope I'm in frame if I'm not I'm sorry <laughs> okay so now that we have that part done I am going to be taking a blending brush and I'm going to be going into the Saharan palette and I'm going to be mixing um, a Jamila and Sokoto it's this color and this color and then I'm going to be applying that right over the cut crease and if you lose a sub of the cut crease we're going to just draw it out again this is going to create a transition color for us and you will be able to see that nice dark line so you can go right back over it so now I'm going to take the brush and I'm going to go right over it, kind of blending those colors together and smudging out the harshness of the black liner. Okay, so as you can see, we have our transition color and we lost that black line. We're going to go right back into the gel liner with an angle brush and go right over it but I don't know if you guys can see it on camera I can see it in person it's there so I'm just gonna go sketch right over that black line to bring it back so we can have our cut crease and if it doesn't look perfect don't worry we're gonna end up blending this out later Okay. So with a clean angled brush, you're going to take it and smudge it upwards to try and blend it out. Just to soften up the edges at the top. Okay, so when you do that, it should look something like this. Now we're going to take NYX or NYX, whatever you want to call it, and the color white. And this is a eye primer. And now we're going to start to basically clean it up so we can apply our color to our lid. And I find it easier if you look down and then pat on the eye primer and get closer to the line. Because therefore you can be able to actually make the cut crease appear like a cut crease. <laughs> We're going back into the Saharan palette and then we're going to take this color right here which is called Iman and we're going to take a clean flat brush. I'm sorry I'm not looking at you. I'm trying not to let it transfer and we're going to take it 
just in the inner corner of the eye to about midway and apply this to the cut crease making sure to keep it nice and neat okay, so now that we have that piece done now we're going to go into this color right here in the same palette I hope you guys can see it I'm gonna let you guys see the name because some of Juvia's places uh, names on their palettes I absolutely botched <laughs> so we're gonna go into that color right there and then we are going to work from the outer up to the inner and make it blend in like an ombre so we're going to use the same technique of trying to keep the cut crease nice and clean and applying that all over the lid well partial of the lid and then we're going to take it and fade it into that uh white color okay so I went back and fixed this one I didn't even have to take it all the way off that's the pleasure of you know makeup you get to fix it take it off start over or just take off little pieces <laughs> which is what I did and I because I felt like this one was way higher than this one so what I ended up doing was just taking it and just going I have really long nails so I just took it and wrapped the makeup wipe and then it just carved it out the black pieces the black pieces the black parts of the cut crease and I went back and fixed it and I think this is as good as it's gonna get looks pretty good to me so now what I'm gonna do is take the skinty part of my brush and I'm going to dip it into this color right here called Senegal and I'm going to put that in my um what do you call this the inner eye the tear duct the you know what I'm talking about right here and I'm just going to dab it in there and move it around to give me a highlight yeah something like that now what we're going to do is take a black eyeliner this is elf and I am going to do my waterline and after I do my waterline I'll be right back. now what I'm going to do is take a flat angled brush clean one and I'm gonna go into this color right here that I can't pronounce and it's gonna go at the uh, lower lash line and I'm just gonna lightly put that there okay so now that that's all done I am going to go into the color stalker and align my lips using the um, liquid lipstick by Kat Von D called damned I'm going to apply that in the center of my lips Let's just say try to. <laughs> and now I'm gonna take the Milani lippy thingy <laughs> in the color adorable and I'm going to apply that to the center of my lips to create an ombre so that this lip doesn't look so dark for Valentine's Day. So uh, this is what uh, this look is going to look like if you follow up my steps. Um, I applied my, what is this, highlight off camera and believe it or not, I used Juvia's Place <laughs> and I used the color Cynical right there, that gold color and then I came back with some setting spray, set it and it made it look like this so I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you like it I don't do too many cut creases so this is kind of like my first cut crease so I hope you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up rate comment like subscribe and share share this share tutorial and happy Valentine's Day make sure you leave me birthday wishes down below what are you doing for Valentine's Day or if it's your birthday or your birthday pass happy belated birthday and happy birthday all right